Well, uh, I would say it's, it, it, it should be easy to vote if you're a valid voter, and it, and it should be hard to cheat. And, it, and if we can make it harder to cheat with a voter, a photo voter, I think we should do so. I think what the Secretary of State was saying, and I said that's what he's working towards, that the vote is available, easy to vote, but hard to cheat. That was the, the objective that he's working to in the ends in his office. I think the Secretary needs to be commended for the post-election voter fraud report. It was the first ever of its kind in the state of Ohio, and it was in response to many of the complaints that uh, we received into our office and many of the groups expressed across the state of Ohio, knowing that they saw suspicious activity and uh, couldn't nail it down. So it was important to get the hard numbers of exactly what happened. Uh, first of all, to do an audit to see, did anything occur that was irregular? Was there, uh, was there fraud that was perpetrated? And then uh, I think by the findings and the reports that have come out since then, we do know that it did occur. And uh, it is hard to prove, but uh, by the numbers and the black and white numbers, you know, facts are hard things, they don't lie. So what uh, the Secretary of found in his own audit, along with sworn statements, I think is a good indication that we need to um, do what we can to reinstill the confidence in the election system in Ohio. And uh, for that reason, uh, alone, a voter, photo, a voter photo ID requirement hold at over 70% in the state of Ohio would go a long way to do that. I just want to make a comment too that uh, if you take a look at the number of Ohioans right now, uh, the number of Ohioans right now who, I mean, I go to vote, I show my uh, driver's license. That's, I mean, that's a form of ID to verify where I live. I would guess millions of Ohioans are already showing their, uh, their driver's licenses or photo IDs. So I don't think this is something that is unusual. I, I think this goes on. I think, that, I think even the state of uh, Hawaii allows the use of photo ID. Um, I don't think it's necessarily mandated, but it's one of the, the forms that they use. So, you know, this already goes on. This is not something that is, you know, highly unusual. Many other states have already had it, as, as uh, Representative Becker pointed out. I mean, it's already been upheld uh, by the Supreme Court. And his bill models that. So I, I think this is a good form. I think this is a form that, you know, if you have it standardized, it makes it easy for every poll worker. They can move faster. They don't question, you know, whether your utility bill is, you know, adequate or not. Um, they'll actually be able to uh, see the photo ID and know immediately that this is the right voter. So.